Greetings and salutations. I am your humble Adobe instructor, and today's tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel.com. We're taking a look at Photoshop CS5, and I'm specifically going to talk about the changes made to Refine Edge. Let's go ahead and jump right in. You can see in front of you I've got a picture of a bunny, 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 bunny. And what I'm going to do is change to my quick selection tool by pressing W on my keyboard. And this simply allows me to paint in a selection, just takes a couple seconds. Once I have the selection, I'm going to go and click on Refine Edge. Now it's worth noting that as long as you have any selection tool, you actually have the option of Refine Edge. I want to show you real quick as I cycle through to the Lasso tool, the Marquee tool, and back to the Quick Selection tool, right across the top in my toolbar options was the Refine Edge button. I can also press Command Option R or Control Alt R and that'll bring up the Refine Edge dialog box. For those of you familiar with Refine Edge, the first thing that you'll notice is the layout is a bit different. Okay? Our different views are now located at the top of the dialog box instead of the bottom, and they're also set up as a pull down list. You can quickly cycle through the views by pressing the F key. And for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to have my bunny on a black background so you can really see the hair extensions coming around the outer fringe of the bunny. Now we still have our same adjustments to smooth and feather and change the contrast, but what's really exciting about CS5 is this new edge detection. So I'm going to go ahead and check the smart radius option, and for the purpose of the demonstration, I'm going to just set the radius to the maximum of 250 pixels, and you can see right away, look real close, and look at how the edges are starting to come in. Now you can silly really see the hair lines just extending around the outer radius of the bunny. I can also extend that by using a radius refinement tool and I'll just simply drag the wisps of hair away from the bunny's body where I know there's some whiskers and I can paint along the back side of the bunny where I know there's some whiskers and if we change real quick to the mask view look at that edge mask look at the whiskers that is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my black background and I'm ready to output. Now I have the option if there were colors kind of bleeding in, if I had a color fringe I could remove that, but I'm just going to output this. If we take a look at the options I can output this as a selection, I can choose to do a layer mask, and then I've got some options for new layers or new documents with or without a mask. For this demonstration, I'm just going to make this a layer mask. I could even check to remember the settings for next time, but I'll just click OK. And here is that bunny on my new background. Hey, I had a red background layer underneath, and it's been masked out. If I jump over to the layers panel, you can see here's the mask. I'll alt click to show you. There's the mask. And I could clean this up. I'm just going to grab my brush tool. That's B for brush. And I'll just paint black over here real quick. Takes just a second to kind of clean that up. All right, we've got some time. Come in. I'm using my square bracket keys again. Left square bracket is smaller. Right square bracket is bigger. Painting, painting. Just a couple adjustments. All right, right in here, just a tiny little adjustment in there. And look at that. That looks awesome. There's the bunny. Bam, I'm AJ Wood. This has been a Photoshop CS5 tutorial. I'll catch you next time.